Welcome to Electron Lime. Now we're going to do some examples that will help us understand how we can move forces by using the decomposition of a force to a force in a moment. For example, here we have a beam which can rotate about this point right there. There's a force pulling down on the beam right here at a distance 18 centimeters away from the line of action of this force to the vertical going through the pivot point right there. And what we want to do is we want to replace this force by force at the pivot point in a moment to compensate for the torque caused by this force right here. All right, how do we do that? Well, the first thing we want to do is move this force over here because the sum of the force in the x, the y, and the z direction cannot change. So this force needs to come over here, and we can draw a new force down here, and that's going to be also equal to minus 600 newtons in the j direction. All right, but now notice that there's a torque associated with this particular force acting this way about this point right there. And th that would, of course, cause a moment. And the moment in this case, the moment, the magnitude of the moment, uh, at the origin, let's call that the origin, has to be equal to the distance times the force. And notice the sense of the, of the torque is, notice that, the force acts in this direction, so if you use your right hand, that means that the moment of the torque will be into the board, into the negative z direction. And in this case, that would be, uh, so the magnitude will be the product, but the actual number, of course, will be negative because it's in the, acting in the negative z direction. So that means that the moment here can therefore be written as the negative d, which is 18 centimeters, which is 0 0.18 meters, multiplied times the magnitude of force, which would be 600 newtons. Notice that this negative has no bearing here. We know the direction of the moment simply by realizing that it's going to be in a clockwise direction. Clockwise direction, of course, is negative. And the direction, of course, is going to be in the z direction. The z direction is out of the board is a positive z direction, into the board is a negative z direction. To the right is x, and up will be y. So. Completing this, that would be a moment about the origin equal to this times this, that would be uh, 60. Another 48, that would be a minus 1,080 Newton. Ooh, not that many. How about 108? 108 Newton meters in the Z direction. Let's see, that's right. That would be six. That would be 60. Another 48, 108. All right, so what, we, what that means is it's going to be a clockwise direction, so we can indicate that over here, which means that this force can be replaced by a force drawn at the origin and added to that the moment, and the moment about the origin would then be equal to a minus 108 Newton meters in the Z direction. So this force can be replaced by the sum of this force in that moment. All right, we're going to do the same thing on the second example here, except the force is the same, but we already have an existing moment right here of minus 40 newton meters in the negative z direction. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to move this force over here. So this force now becomes a minus 600 newtons in the negative y direction, acting at the origin. So it's the same force moved over here, but then we have to compensate for that. So that means that the new moment, the moment, is going to be equal to the sum here, the minus 40 newton meters in the z direction, minus another 108 newton meters caused by this force moment, because since we move the force over here, we have to compensate for the moment by adding the negative 108 newton meters in the z direction. That means the moment over here is now going to be a larger moment at the origin, equal to minus 148 newton meters in the negative z direction. All right, next what we're going to do is we're going to move this force over here to some location in such a way that the moment disappears. So that means we have to move it some distance. We're not sure yet what that distance is. That's what we're trying to find. So we're going to move this force to some other point right here. We want to know what this distance is from there to there so that the moment is taken care of by putting the force in that location. The magnitude of the force, of course, has to be 60 newtons in the negative direction. That way the forces in the y direction will remain the same. So that's a minus 60 newtons in the 
in negative y direction, but what about the distance? Well, we know here that the moment, let me use a different color, we know that the existing moment is equal to minus 80 newton meters. Um, and of course, that's in the k direction negative k direction. So how do we get the same moment over here? We also know that the moment about the origin is going to be equal to the distance times the force times the direction. Of course, it's going to be the negative z direction, so that would be in the k direction. And it's going to be negative because we need to compensate for the negative over there. So the question is, what is this d going to be equal to? Well, that means that the d is going to be equal to the negative moment, because we move the negative over here, the negative moment about the origin divided by the magnitude of the force. And the negative moment of, of, the, of the origin was equal to minus 80 newton meters. And we divide that by the force, which is a negative 60 newtons. So 80 newton meters divided by 60 newtons, the zeros cancel out, that's 8 divided by 6, that's 1.33 meters, 1.33 meters. And that will be the distance right here that we move the force so that we have the equivalent moment about this particular point. That means the distance must be equal to 1.33 meters. And so by moving this distance over here, the moment disappears, the moment is not caused by the force acting at this location 1.33 meters away from this line right here, and the sum of the force in the y direction has not changed, they're still equivalent. Now finally we go to this example right here, we have two forces, and what we're going to do is we're going to move both forces down to the origin. So we have this force right here, which is a positive 40 newtons in the x direction, and we move this force right here, which is a minus 80 newtons in the y direction. Of course, each of those forces cause the moment about this point, and we, when we move the forces so that they act through the, the line of action is through the point of rotation, we have lost the information about the moment. We have to replace it by the equivalent moment caused by those two forces. Notice that the direction of the moment will be the same for both forces. They're both clockwise directions, so that means they're going to be a negative moment, and they're going to be additive which means that the new moment, the new moment about the origin is going to be equal to the magnitude of the force. We need a negative because it's going to be clockwise. So negative, the distance, which is 0.1 meter, multiplied times the 40 newtons. And that's going to be in the z direction. It's going to be negative z direction. And then minus... 20 centimeters, which is 0.2 meters, multiplied times 80 newtons, 80 newtons, and that would be also in the negative z direction. So the moment of these two forces is going to be replaced by a single moment about the origin, and so the moment is going to be equal to minus 4 newton meters in the negative z direction, minus 16 newton meters in the negative z direction, which means that the moment is going to be replaced by minus 20 newton meters in the z direction. So that is the equivalent moment caused by these two forces about that point right there. And so you can see now that the red vector is now replaced by this green vector and that equivalent moment. This red vector and this moment is replaced by the new vector right here, moved to the origin, and the new moment this vector and this moment is replaced by a single vector which causes an equivalent moment acting at this location. And then these two vectors are replaced by these two vectors and, whoop, I forgot to draw, the equivalent moment right here of minus 20 newton meters in the negative z direction. And that's how we can convert from a force to a moment and a force move to the new location. And that's how that's done.